Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Cosmos Atom token. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now jumping into the TA. So taking a look at our Fibonacci retracement, we have uh, reached our support level here, a key support area that I was talking about in the past couple of in the past couple of uh, weeks. And as you can see, we retested eight dollars and seventy five cents. That was a perfect bounce, perfect entry for Cosmos Atom here. And right now you could be up 16 percent. So great swing trade opportunity for everyone who listened, everyone who paid attention, everyone who had the same Fibonacci retracement on the chart, which is exactly with the swing high that we printed in May and with the swing low we printed in March of 2020. And the, the golden ratio here, the 0 0.618 was very much a strong support level already because we had multiple retests back in May, June and July of 2021. Obviously, we lost that with this bear market. We bottomed out here at the 0 0.5. And right now we are printing a higher low because we are now bouncing off of the golden ratio, right? So you print this low, you come up, you retrace down, you print a higher low and then you continue on that's how an uptrend works so our major thing here is we, we want to hold this but if we fail to do that our next key support area our next key support block is going to be from eight dollars to seven dollars forty cents and if we fail to hold that well i guess it's going to be pretty safe to assume that we're coming back down to the 0 0.5 and we are retesting this low which in all honesty it, it's not bad because that's what you should be doing from a technical standpoint. That's what most of the altcoins did. In fact, a lot of the altcoins did this in August, then they had the pullback and now they're even below their June low. That's how some that's how altcoins, some altcoins are right now. But Cosmos is holding very strong. So is Polygon Matic. I have both coins and I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing their them perform in the next bull market. However, right now, like I said, Cosmos needs to hold $7.40. That's the absolute bottom that I wanted to go to because if we go lower, like I said, that's probably a strong sign that we are retesting the 0 0.5 Fibonacci retracement. Now, you could take a trend line here and, and, and draw some sort of a support or descending support trend line here as such. Uh, you could do that, obviously, and uh, we could be adhering to it. Let's see if, if we continue doing that. For now, though, I would just uh, buy off of the support levels. Like I said, anything below $10 is pretty cheap for me uh, in regards to Cosmos. Obviously, if we drop back down to $5.90 or $6, that's a Black Friday for me, even if it's a Tuesday. I don't care. That's a Black Friday for me. But obviously, you need to be prepared with that with extra cash because if you buy all in right now and Cosmos drops tomorrow, you're not going to have any money left to buy in, right? So you need to be prepared for that. And looking at some potential resistance levels here, you can see that we have our 0 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level at $15.62. Obviously, this played a huge part in the rally in both September and November. We saw retracements from that area twice. So this was a nice double top pattern and potentially with a target to the downside, which is this you know, golden support block that I have for you. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to, you know, swing trade and, and potentially look for some exits or take profit zones. The 786 on the FIB is a great area to do that. Uh, now let's switch over to the daily RSI. The green trend line is something that I'm still targeting. Uh, like I said, we've hit that twice before, once in May, once in June. We had a little sort of touch here in November, but not really. Same thing at the end of November. Maybe once we get the next sort of pullback, we might, you know, come back down here. If we break down below that, I would be targeting the orange trend line because that's a resistance trend line we broke above in June and we haven't seen the pullback or the retest of support rather since then. So potentially we could see that happen sometime in December, maybe at the end of November here, maybe sometime in January, February, once the Fed decides to pivot and we see the stock market crash, dragging the crypto market along with it, which honestly, 
I would like to see because that would mean we get cheaper prices and I don't need, you know, Tesla or anyone else telling me that Bitcoin is going to be big in the future because Bitcoin doesn't need Tesla or any of those companies. So it's going to be a fire sale. Obviously, people are going to be selling. People are going to be it's, there's going to be blood on the streets, basically, and it might take for us a bit longer to recover. Yes, but still, that gives us more time to dollar cost average and create very strong portfolios. Because let's be honest, when we were sitting here at the all time high prices in November 2021 last year, 12 months ago, you were hoping that the markets or you were rather hoping that you had so much money to buy into this dip, right? You were hoping you had so much money to buy into this COVID dip, but you didn't, even though you had some money probably, and you just didn't because you heard that crypto is a scam. And right now, we are seeing a very, very, very similar situation here. Look at this pullback here. Look at this pullback. And you think this is not, not, not a strong pullback? Well, you are in an uptrend, generally speaking, right? Because you are printing higher highs and higher lows. Some cryptos have gone lower than their March 2020 low. You can go ahead and buy those cryptos. But Cosmos is a very strong project. That's why it's not dropping that low. This is a very, very bullish project. So I think as low as you're going to see, you know, I don't think we're going to be going below $5.87, to be honest with you, right? Unless we see Bitcoin drop to $10,000, then yes, we could drop all the way back down to $4 here. That would be an absolute dream come true, but I don't think that's going to happen. Although if it does, I'm totally ready for that. So... That's regarding the daily chart. Let's switch over to the Binance website. Now, taking a look at the weekly chart on Binance, as you can see, we are in this large falling wedge. We just saw some sort of a fake out here in November. We came back down and right now we're holding our buy zone anywhere from $10 to $8.59, practically perfectly bouncing off of it, uh, to be honest with you. So if we see a very bearish situation. We might come back all, come back down to retest this low at $5.60. We may come a bit lower to retest the support here of the falling wedge. That also could, could happen because as you can see, we are in a falling wedge and we're going to eventually break out of this, right? We're going to break out of this to the upside. Our target is going to be at $44. That's our technical target. However, if we start, you know, taking a look at our, you know, next targets towards the bull market, then you can see our 1.618 here, let me get the price tag, is going to be sitting at $161 per Cosmos coin. And from where we are right now, that is a 1500% move. And I think Cosmos can do even more than that. I think $200 is doable or 180, let's say $180 is doable for Cosmos. That's 1600, you know, 1600 and a half percent. So that's a very, very strong move. You can also see that I have a uh, Elliott wave theory. So I think, you know, if this is going to be our low, potentially the second wave, we're going to see a massive wave three into spring of 2023, right? Sometime in March, April, you might see the correction. Uh, this is this is a rough estimate, right, of what's going to happen. Uh, and from there, we're going to see a pullback back to the 0 0.5 of this Fibonacci. And then we're going to see our final leg up towards August, maybe getting to the either previous all time high or maybe $28, right? Depends on how bullish we are, depends on what the project is doing, because with enough hype, as you can see, Trust Wallet is breaking all time highs in a bear market. So with enough hype, anything can happen. So, yeah, that's what I think regarding Cosmos, Adam. I like I would love don't get me wrong. I would love to to buy Cosmos at these lows here. I would love for, for the price to come back down there, but I just don't think it's very realistic unless Bitcoin comes back to $10,000. Now, if you know, certainly, if you know for a certain fact that Bitcoin is going to be testing $10,000, then there is no point in you buying Cosmos right now. However, if you cannot predict the future and you're not some sort of a magician with a crystal ball, then you're going to be dollar cost averaging at these lower levels because Whatever you buy, you buy $10, $7. When you're selling at $200, you know, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. It does slightly, but, you know, you, you, it, you'd you rather be safe with your, uh, you'd rather be safe and exposed to the markets, somewhat exposed, than just, you know, hoping for something to happen. And, and then it ends up not happening and you're just sitting there with your cash and, and doing nothing and losing 8% because of inflation per year. So 
you you have to you have to think about your investments and how you're going to do this because I'm always exposed to the markets, but I'm never 100% exposed because I don't go all in. That's a very important thing to uh, to have in mind. Now, taking a look at what we're expecting here on the weekly RSI, as you can see, we haven't seen the bounce off of the uh, red trend line here, this red support trend line that I was targeting. So I would be looking at the 42 RSI level. Okay, that could be our potential local high here. We could also target the previous resistance of the falling or previous support of the falling wedge, I should say, which is this teal trend line. We saw one bounce over there, right? And you and you saw your actually let me just move this up a little bit because it got it got a little there we go. There we go. Little off. It was a little off. There we go. Now it's perfectly aligned. And as you can see, you got a rejection here in October. So potentially we might look at a similar rejection uh, in December where we get rejected from that trend line. So be on the lookout for that if you're looking to swing trade. Personally, I'm not swing trading Cosmos. I'm simply staking and uh, earning airdrops uh, from on the Kepler wallet. So yeah, that's that's what I think regarding Cosmos, very bullish on this project, not investing all of my money into it, obviously, because I'm not a degen, but I have high hopes for it uh, during the next bull market. So thank you all for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next one. If you want to check out my Patreon, where I do leave my low cap gems, exclusive podcasts, I can take a look at some coins you're requesting for TA. I drop in some, you know, awesome I think that's awesome information that I drop into Patreon because I don't really share it on YouTube. It's some nice investment advice, my thoughts on the market, what I'm doing with my money. It's all going to be there on Patreon. I try to make it, uh, you know, as as good as I can because I want to make it worth your while because you're paying for it and I'm getting some something from it and you're getting something from it. So it's a win-win situation. Now, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one.